What's going on everyone? Welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In this video, we are going to compute transportation fare in C++, but as usual, algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. The transportation fare along a certain road in Ghana is calculated using the following sliding scale. A fixed amount of 2,000 cities is paid by all passengers. The first, one thing, the first 10 kilometers is free. The next 30 kilometers attracts 100 cities each. The next 110 kilometers attracts 175 cities each. Any excess kilometer over 150 kilometers attracts 50 cities. Your problem is to write a computer solution that will allow a distance to be entered, compute the required fare, and then return as output the expected fare and the distance traveled. To the algorithm. From the question, we are to allow distance to be entered. So we are going to take distance as input from the user or the passenger. Now, I am going to store a copy of the user's distance in a new variable called new distance. As we go along, I will explain why this is. According to the question again, a fixed amount of 2,000 cities is paid by all passengers. So we say the fixed amount, which is fair in this case, is equal to 2,000. The first 10 kilometers is free, meaning if you are traveling within 10 kilometers, you are only going to pay for the fixed amount and nothing else. So we say if distance is less than or equal to 10, then the fare is equal to 2,000. Again, the next 30 kilometers attract 100 cities each. So 30 plus 10, we get 40. Meaning if the distance is less than or equal to 40 kilometers, the passenger is going to pay for the fixed amount plus the distance the passenger traveled within the 30 kilometers times 100 cities. So to get a distance the user traveled within 30 kilometers, we take the initial 10 kilometers out of the distance traveled. Also, the next 110 kilometers attracts 175 cities each, meaning if the distance is less than or equal to 150 kilometers, which is 110 plus 40, 50 km, 150 kilometers, the passenger is going to pay for the fixed amount plus the full amount for covering the next 30 kilometers plus the distance the passenger traveled within the 150 kilometers times 175 cities. To get a distance the passenger, the passenger traveled within 110 kilometers, we subtract the total previous distance covered from the distance covered by the passenger. Lastly, any excess kilometer over 150 kilometers attracts 50 cities, meaning if the distance is above 150 kilometers, so we say else, the passenger is going to pay for the fixed amount plus the full amount for covering the next 30 kilometers plus the full amount for covering the next 110 kilometers plus 50 times the distance traveled after 150 kilometers which is distance minus 150. Now we end our if statement and print our results. You can see that we printed new distance and not distance. This is because at the end of the if statement, the value of distance is going to change. That is why we initially stored a copy of it in a new distance. All right, friends, that's it for the algorithm. Let's take a look at our code in C++. But before that, I will encourage you to pause the video, give it a like, and subscribe. Very well, to our code in C++. In my intimate function, I declared distance fair and new distance to be a double, and I also initialized fair to be 2000. I then asked the passenger to enter distance in kilometers, and I save the copy of the distance in a new variable called new distance. From there, I set my if block, which will compute the passenger's fare, depending on the distance entered. Lastly, I print the distance in kilometers and then 
the expected fare in Ghana cities. So now I am going to enter a distance so we see how our code runs. So I entered 34 kilometers for distance. On pressing enter via my keyboard, it says my expected fare is 4400 Ghana cities, which is right if you do the calculations manually. So our code is running properly. All right, friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, a party!